I'd been a singer for a while, and um, as I said, my party, I suppose the finale to my show, I always call it my party trick, but the finale to my normal performance show, back then when I was singing in pubs and clubs and things, um, as myself, not as Michael Jackson, uh, would be to do Billie Jean, and Billie Jean, um, I'd do it more how Michael Jackson did it live, so towards the end, I'd go back into the beat, uh, the sort of the the start of the song, if you like that that iconic drum beat, that <laughs> sort of thing, and I'd grab a hat and just do some of the moves, and um, and an agent saw me, uh, uh, an entertainment agent saw me, and came up to me and said, "Do you do a Michael Jackson show?" And I was like, uh, "No, no, I don't do anything like that." And he said would you be interested? Oh, he sort of said, you could do it, you know you could do it. I spent about 10 months initially putting something together and when we first did the first sort of performances for showcases, I'll be completely honest, it was rubbish. It was, you know, it was nowhere near the standard that you see today vocally, it was not very good, it just seemed like I was shouting most of the time. The look, the sort of, what was still taking me three hours to do back then, basically just looked like a guy in long hair with a lot of foundation on rather than looking like Michael Jackson and we had to really work at it to get it better, spend a lot of time and thought making it into what it is today and even now like I, like I mentioned earlier we we still constantly look at where we can improve, what else can we do, where, where can we go next, what, what you know like with the makeup as you're watching me right now I constantly look at right I want to get this one day to a stage where I can be face to face with someone this close and they question whether they are actually looking at Michael Jackson's face or not.